people that that night and so the next night people hi what's up shaky i was like that's <laughs> that's okay that works fine for me St. Pete right now, uh, going to my buddy Mark's house, he's an old college roommate of mine. Um, we're going to come up here and uh, get the camera set up and we've got a, got a little surprise um, that I'm pretty excited about because I've uh, never seen this guy but uh, Mark just got a pup. juicy um it's one of 300 to come in um everyone's straddling so the game's actually kind of big so we're playing one three up at uh derby lane that's what it's called and um ended up buying in essentially three times added on i said bought in three lost it now, bottom three lost it, added on one, added on two, lost it. So down 600, bottom three. Ran that all the way back up. A small profit. So that's nice. Um, kind of feel like a dweeb, because in there, I walk in and I'm recording with my GoPro. Right away, security guard comes in and he goes, is that GoPro? And I go, oh yeah, man. And he's like, can't film in here. And I was like, oh yeah. And um, so I was really tentative about starting to film cards. So I uh, missed a lot of the bad and run bad. So um, there could have been some funny ones to show you. Um, but overall, in St. Pete, setting up the bed now. Pretty good first day, man. You know? It's like 60 degrees, so brushing my teeth and peeing outside wasn't too bad tonight. Um... I can see how that's gonna be bad when it gets cold, but uh, everything everything worked out, man. So happy to be here and happy the uh, to start off with the with the with the W. Very small one though, forty four dollars. Did dead go drive this bus down to Mexico? Park it on a cliff where that good grass grows until a chopper came along one sunny day. To burn my crops, lock me away Well, I'm eager, young and qualified Got a date with that chair old in late July mm. Like a king, cuz 
army girl, you're unqualified. Got a date with that chair all in late July, but my path be old and fat. Chewing his cigars with his ass slipped back, yeah, roll him over, beat him black. Say it's from that boy he never had with. So in this hand, we open Ace-10 offsuit to $14 after an early position player limps who we're trying to play pots with. The button calls and the limper calls. Uh, we go to a rainbow flop of 954. Early position checks. I put out a continuation bet. $25 after I see the button holding his cards in the air. So to me it just screams weakness and he's never continuing. So I think we can put in a very profitable c-bet and our range is very good against the limp caller and the very active player. We put it out there and it uh it works. So pretty basic hand but just about wanted to highlight you should always be watching other players. In this hand, we look down at ace, king of clubs, on the button. The cutoff straddled to six. So we make it 16, small blind, middle position, and cutoff, all call. Flop comes out king, king, deuce, two diamonds. It checks around to the cutoff, who bets 20. I have two options here, call or raise. With the flush draw and the paired board, who are obviously all gonna continue to a small raise, I choose to raise to 45. Folds back around to the cutoff, who unfortunately snap mucks, but not a bad little pot. Nonetheless, in this hand, we have Jack Ten of Spades in the cutoff, and under the gun makes it 20. We call, and we're currently six handed. We go to a flop, heads up. The flop comes out Queen, Jack Seven, One Spade. He bets 25. We call. Don't see the point of raising here. Seems like a pretty straightforward call. Turn is an eight, so we approve to a gutter. He again leads out for 25, and we call. We picked up equity. Don't see the point of raising again. River is a two of spades. No flush draw competed, and he bets 85 quickly. So we were about 50-50 on calling this river. The, the quick bet we like. Didn't think about it much, so he's pretty much narrowing his range down here to either 9-10, queen-jack, which we have a block, pocket queens, pocket jacks, which we block too, or I guess pocket sevens. So we start cutting out chips, and we're thinking about it, we're thinking about it, realizing we like the bet size. Right around this point, I look up, and he's paying way too much attention to what I'm doing. So to me, it screams weakness. So when we see weakness, and we have a decent hand, second pair, decent kicker, and getting pretty good pot odds. We don't want to be right here too often to call. Think about it. And we get that money out there. He instantly says, good call. And I immediately roll over. We don't know what he had, but we know he has less chips. This is a very active player too. And unfortunately after this hand, he gets up and decides to go home.
won't you pray? No, I won't die with no regret. Cause I'm eager, young, and qualified. Yeah, I'm eager, young, and starry eyed. All the big peaks call, and I reply. I got a date with that chair, old lady.